Hey YouTube, I am Tiberius and you're about to watch an edited recording of a Twitch stream. You can check out my Twitch using the link in the video description. If you enjoy the content, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Thank you and enjoy the video. We're going to connect. Okay, this one's going to be easy. Here we go. Yeah, if this is if this is what I think it is, I don't really understand why burp is being so slow. Okay. You and Callie in a VM, yes. Okay, so this is going to be a basic command injection, isn't it? Thank you for following. So. Let's just try and get it to ping itself. Nice. Uh, okay. I'm going to go to... Thank you for following. Uh, thanks for following, everybody. Ant Sweatpants, Thomas Counts, Phylite, Unobtianium. Okay, so we have clearly a way to ping 12700.1, right? So there's a few things here. Obviously, it's interesting that the, the word ping is here, because obviously this is the command that we would use. Um, however, that doesn't necessarily mean it is the command. All right, this might just be, hey, if test is set to ping, ping whatever they put here. But we can try that. An easy way of enumerating that would be just replacing it with echo and that looked like it didn't do anything uh, we could do ping with a space again that didn't look like it did anything so I would be willing to bet we could even try like sleep and then replace the IP address with five yeah so I would uh, I would bet that this has nothing to do with the actual ping command. It's just a string. Um, okay, so one thing we can try is do is just generate an error message, which it didn't do. If we ping a. It probably can't resolve a. So do we get any error messages? I'm trying to, I mean, it's kind of obvious what the answer is going to be, but I kind of want to show the methodology. Okay, I'm going to cancel that. Um, so let's just do something like, very simple, put a semicolon there. Um, and then we'll do who am I. Who am I is a good one to use. You know that you're, you already know you're getting stuff back, right? Output. Who am I is great because it works on Windows and Linux. Like, we don't technically know if this is Windows or Linux. It's definitely Linux, but let's pretend that it could be Windows. And there we go. We get dub, dub, dub. So very easy. All right, so I can replace this with the ID. Um, what I can also do is set dash C0, perhaps. Was it N? Okay, it's not. Um, I think it's just C, and then if we do one, it's going to ping once. Yeah. Okay, so before it was pinging. Um, problem. Well, C zero didn't do anything. Hmm. 
Ping 1 worked. But now we have full command execution. Okay, uh, there's a few other ways we could have done this. Uh, because the command is technically succeeding, um, we could do ampersand ampersand ID. We would obviously have to encode, um, I mean, technically speaking, we should be encoding all of this, but. So an ampersand ampersand would work. All right, basically just means, hey, if the last command succeeded, run this one. Um, you could use this to uh, vertical bars or um, pipe symbols. But with this one, if we run this, we're not going to get our result. And that's because this one says, hey, only run this command if the last one failed. All right, so we can make this last one fail um, by basically just doing something like... 10, 10, 10, 10. There we go. So it tried pinging 10, 10, 10, 10, which obviously couldn't. Um, and instead we get the output. I guess probably we could just do this. Yeah. So not even giving it an IP address will make it error out because if you just do ping, oops, I guess, how is my internet just apparently not working? If you just do ping on its own, it's going to say that, right? So if we do ping or, or ID, we get my ID here. Anyone know any others? Let's see, see who is uh, on the ball in chat. The D2, good one. Percentage 0A. Now, why does percentage 0A work? Anyone know? New line, right. Because what happens when you when you enter command, right? Here, enter the ping command, and I press enter. Right, it runs it. So because we're passing this onto a shell, anytime you have a, a new line where it's um it's viable. By which I mean, if we if we had a, a semi uh, sorry a single quote and then uh, a new line, it does that, right? Because it's not it doesn't it doesn't expect a new line here, all right? It only expects a new line you know when basically you can enter something. Um, so if you do a new line, then you will immediately force it to run whatever was before this, and then it will run this out. Um, IFS, I mean, so dollar sign IFS, um, is basically just that. So yes, um, the tab symbol won't do anything, but the new line will. Um, so basically it's the same thing. You gotta be kind of careful because that can be different on some systems. I and mean, it looks like maybe it's different on this one. Yeah, didn't like that. Um, and yet yeah, we can do this. However, this is probably it's going to try and ping this ID. So I think we will get a response here, but it's going to be the ID in the error message. If we did a semicolon and then did this, that would probably be easier. Um, or not. 
All right, the dollar sign did not work. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. We need to do this. I think. Yeah. Okay. I was wrong. So... That's how you do it. You have to have an echo there. So the thing about using a dollar sign is a dollar sign su surrounded by, sorry, a command where you've uh, surrounded with parentheses and put a dollar sign. Um, it will execute this. Um, so let me show you, right. It will technically execute this command and then it will try and execute the result. Okay. So it executed ID and got, I should just do it with who am I, it's probably a bit easier. So if I type who am I, right, we get Tiberius. If I type dollar sign who am I, dollar sign parentheses to am I, command not found Tiberius. All right, because it ran this command, got the output Tiberius, and then it tried to run Tiberius as a command. The same with if you surround it with um, that. So the way you get around this is you have to preface it with echo. Um, would uh, D plus ID work? Potentially. Yes. Um, and that's mostly because of the way that bash works. So bash will pa parse, sorry, the um, the entire command string first, and it will convert quotes, so quoted stuff into strings. And if a string happens to match a name, um, then uh, it'll run that. Sorry, name of a command, it'll run that. Is there a way to connect with the server without sharing IP address? In like in general, um, no, but you could use a VPN. All right, let's uh, let's find the flag. So we have index.php. I should probably do a dash la. See if there's anything here. Dot slash. There's the flag. Uh, so this is in the root directory. So we can just do this. Any questions? <laughs> Not that you need to, but can it echo something? Uh, potentially, yes. But that depends. We can actually try that. Let's do that in a minute. Um, I need to mute this, submit the flag. Okay, that was very easy. On the screen are my socials. Please follow me on Twitter join the Discord server, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, follow me on Twitch to get alerted when I go live. You can also find all these links in the video description.